Hi, I want to take this opportunity to talk about what the team members of Rumbarino have developed. Rumbarino is a multidisciplinary team from the University of Puerto Rico at Mayaguez, who developed its own autonomous underwater vehicle, AUV for short. Our first AUV is called Proteus. Proteus has competed three times at RoboSub. The first time it won Rookie of the Year and the Perseverance Award. The second time it won the Perseverance Award again. And the third time it finished 15 out of 72 teams in the competition. Right now we are developing our new AUV called Hydrus. Hydrus is a bigger, more capable AUV made to compete at the highest level. These are the team members of Rumarino. In the Mechanical Structures Division, we focus mostly on the physical construction of the submarine, designing its structure while keeping buoyancy, weight distribution, material strengths, and future additions in mind. We are currently developing our newest submarine, which will provide a foundation for future additions and capabilities, such as integrating a torpedo launcher, an articulated gripper, or a DVL sensor. It will also circumvent difficulties in the previous design by coating its 3D printed parts in a photo curing resin to effectively waterproof them. All in all, our new sub will surpass our previous design and give us an edge in the competition. In the electric division, we are in charge of delivering the power to the different electronic devices in the AUV. In addition, we designed the pretty secret board, or PCB for sure, to make the electronic the most modular possible and make it work in the most efficient way, while also reducing the noise on the circuit communication. As of the most recent accomplishment, we designed a new PCB that will be in charge of delivering the power to the AUV and make the router into a buoy so it can stay closer to the AUV while eliminating the excess of et Ethernet cable. For the future, we expect to give our grading our circuits and connection to be even more modular and efficient. The Embedded System Division is in charge of creating the link between software and hardware. With the use of an Arduino, we receive inputs from the various sensors of the AUV, while sending signal to thrusters and actuators. Our focus this year is to create a code that controls the gripper and the torpedoes, and potentially be able to maneuver the AUV with a remote control. The Operation Division optimizes work structure. Its purpose is to maintain the team functioning correctly as it grows in scope and in members. The team also leads communication with possible sponsors and maintains them. Recently, we have given a new purpose towards documentation in order to assure the transfer of knowledge to future room Marino members. Along with the business division, it relieves administrative responsibilities from the team. The business division manages the team resources, such as revenue streams, documentation, and inventory which keeps the team running efficiently. This team is also responsible of finding opportunities to promote hydras and STEM fields for students in elementary, intermediate, and high school. The software division in Romarino is responsible for developing and maintaining the high-level code for our AUEs, as well as integrating code from the other divisions into the main architecture. Our most common language for high-level coding is Python. Additionally, we use the ROS library to handle parallelization of processes. Our current goals are to salvage code from our retired AUV and develop a new architecture from the more robust and modular components for our new sub, Hybris. We hope to improve upon the designs and work of past members by working our old code into more robust solutions. Control Division is in charge to develop a control system of our AUV using Python code and ROS. As of now, we are using a PID control system to have our AUV more move in different directions. Our challenge is to make all the movement with all the degrees of freedom that our AUV can do. In addition, we are working with our Victoria Motors to integrate the pitch, roll and sway movement that will make the AUV more dynamic. Currently, Room Marino is working hand in hand with Teledyne to help them develop their new Wayfinder DVL. We are helping by giving them feedback of its performance, documentation and overall presentation. Our new AUV's hull is composed of a mixture of different materials located strategically to enhance its hull integrity and function during a mission, while maintaining low weight, a target buoyancy level of positive 1%, and still provide space for future additions keeping its structure modular and adaptable. It includes HDPE structures that encompass most of its profile and harbor hardpoints for the placement of its thrusters, 
aluminum alloy reinforcements to grant rigidity, and carbon fiber 3D prints to withstand the vibrations of the thrusters. Our latest addition to the hull is the integration of a DVL sensor, mounted on a custom 3D printed carriage located in the underbelly of the AUV, where it will be able to provide the most useful data. For the control systems division, in conjunction with the software team, the team was able to test the communication between the controllers and other hardware components, so as to show the team members how to give stabilization set points for our AUV. With further input from the embedded systems team, all communications were successfully established. In the simulations team, they were able to test out different Python scripts and set communication to measure the reaction within the Gazebo environment. However, the team is still working with the Mechanical Structures Division to acquire linear and quadratic dampening coefficients for the mathematical model. After these parameters have been acquired, the simulation team can then place the AUV model within a more realistic simulation environment and verify how it would react underwater with greater accuracy. We are also creating a new workshop which will include our very own pool. This will help us further develop our AUV. We are looking for funding so we can pay for the competition costs, materials, and certify our team members in different softwares. We would like to thank our sponsors for their continued support in helping us develop our AUV and also helping us with our team's expenses. We would also like to invite possible sponsors to reach out to us if they have any questions regarding the team. Due to COVID-19, we are unable to use our usual pool. This is why we are looking for funding to buy a big enough pool where we can conduct our test. We are also looking for sponsors who will help us with our expenses during our trip to the competition. Thank you for your time and stay safe.